Let's find the oxidation number for the sulfur here in NaHSO3. This is sodium hydrogen sulfite. And this right here is the hydrogen sulfite ion. And the whole thing actually has a one minus charge, which makes sense. Sodium is one plus. But we really want to look at the sulfur here. So the way we do this, this compound here, sodium hydrogen sulfate, doesn't have a negative or a positive. So it's a neutral compound. And with the neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. So that's kind of important. We can look at the sodium here, this first element here. It's a group one element. We know that has a plus one oxidation number. Hydrogen, when it's bonded to nonmetals, that's going to be a plus one. Here, the hydrogen is part of this hydrogen sulfate ion. That's going to be a plus one for that. Sulfur, we don't know. Oxygen, almost always minus two, except when it's in peroxides or bonded to fluorine. So here it's bonded to the sulfur. So minus two, we have three of those. So we could just set up an equation. We have one plus one plus X minus two times three. All of that equals zero since this compound is neutral. So we have one, two plus negative six. So that's four X minus four. That equals zero. X is going to equal a positive four. So the oxidation number for the sulfur in NaHSO4, that's plus four. And if we look at the oxidation numbers, we have plus one, plus one, and plus four. That's plus six, three times negative two. That's minus six. So they all add up to zero. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for each element here in NaHSO3, sodium hydrogen sulfite. Thanks for watching.